here we are again. All to do with timing. I see all sorts of dreadful, I would say, attempts at timing, and it can be so easy, honestly, nowadays, with all the equipment we've got available. Very, very easy. I do feel that in hybrid meetings it's essential to have the timer on the screen so that the people in the live lounge, so to speak, in the live situation, just have to look at the screen and there's the timer. I think that works perfectly. Of course, the ideal situation is to have timing in the room as a repeater. So you just, the timer then just sees green and press the green and you've got whatever timing equipment you've got in the room lights up. But it's really easy. And people ask me how, I, 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 I think I do it particularly well. Um, and how do I do it? Well, the first thing I do is I spend a little bit of time, not much, and I'm not, I guess I'm pretty good at all this uh, internet stuff and designing stuff on screen and all that. But it's very easy to make yourself up a green card, an amber card, and a red card. But it's very easy to make yourself up three different JPEGs. Now, I think we all know what a JPEG is. It's the absolute bug standard way of doing a digital photograph, a digital picture. And there are many programs, and they're very, very easy to use on Microsoft. You've got Paint, Paint, I'll put that down below. Paint is very easy to use. I personally use Keynote on a Mac. I find that the most useful than the really posh people, professional people can use Photoshop, but there are loads and loads of different systems you can use and just ask it to say, you know, give me a, a green background, give me a red background, give me an amber background, and you've got it. People love the, the one I do, and I'll show it to you, the one where I've got down the side, I've got then timer, and that's always very, very nice, and that is very easy to do in any of those systems. You just ask it to give you a shape, and then you put the shape, and you can adjust the shape, and it goes down the side. I like mine in yellow. Then it'll ask you what you want as a background color, background color yellow, and then how do you put the writing on? Just There's always a box that says text. You just get text, put there, and fill it in, timekeeper. How do I get it to go from top to bottom? Easy, you just get the text box, you put in Timekeeper and then you squeeze it in. The more you squeeze it in, the more it'll go top to the bottom. It's really as simple as that. Then you can make the, the font size as big as you like or as small as you like. And you can put the font size in any color you like. So there we are. That's how it's done. It's very, very easy. And then you just get the JPEGs. You bring them to the computer or the laptop, whatever you're using uh, for your Zoom, and just go on to where the virtual backgrounds are. You know where that is, the camera icon, the bottom left-hand side. There's a microphone icon, camera icon. Just click on the side of that for the settings, and you will see it'll come up with virtual backgrounds. Then there's a little plus sign on the right-hand side. You add, that's for adding background plus that and it'll said say add image and you have to click that again and then it'll just search through you can search through all the stuff on your computer and there you will find the green the amber and the red that you prepared earlier as they say <laughs> in the children's programs so that is how you do it and then during the uh, you make sure you've got those available as virtual backgrounds and then during the uh, the meeting then when you want to do the colours, then you just put up the virtual background. It's as easy as that and everybody can see it. Now, as regards to timing, it, uh, that's, the timing has come on in leaps and bounds. And I, I, I've I been using one called, the, the ones that to Toastmasters brought out originally were very, very hard to use. They weren't very good. But lately, the new ones, the later ones are sensational. I just picked one out of the blue, just for this, for this little thing I'm doing. And look at what I got. You can hold that sort of app 
up to the camera, as close as you can, you can to the camera, and it works perfectly. It's absolutely wonderful. So there we are. How to make the colours. You've got that. I've done that. How to time. I've got the timer now. You just get the app from the App Store, and there you are. Wonderful stuff. You will be the greatest timer in the world. <laughs> See you next time. This is Dick.